Yo buddies, what is up? Welcome back, Beaker here, and today we're gonna ball out a little bit and spend all of this loot on our new walls. You guys remember the new walls? Well, they're right here. And they're looking pretty sad right now. Level seven, come on, bro. Level seven doesn't really go with level 11, so let's fix that right now. We're gonna spend as much as we can. Now remember, we can only spend gold right now because they're level seven. After that, boom, we can spend elixir. So let's try to finish these level eight walls right here right now okay wait this is yeah okay let's see if we can do them all at once is basically what i'm trying to do here um what no is that a no what why isn't it letting me anyway let's just do them one by one then <laughs> what like doesn't it normally let you do a row let me let me let me try again all right right there boom yeah okay so that's gonna put us pretty close here but Oh no, I did level nine walls. That was dumb. <laughs> no. Okay, so now we can start spending some of the elixir too. Um, <laughs> we could have done four more of those walls if I hadn't just done those level nine walls with gold. Anyway, that's what happens in life, guys. Beaker screws up. What are you going to do? Okay, so now that we've done a few of those, I'm going to see if we have any more loot in the clan castle. Eh, just a little bit. Alright, dudes. So, we've made a little room in our storages. Why don't we go to some raids? Alright, buddies. So, I'm gonna go really hard on this raid. You can hardly call this a farming raid. I'm, like, going in with five spells and five golems. But this is a fun raid. So, I bet a lot of you guys have already used this strategy. But if you haven't before, check it out. You use, like, five or six golems with about 20 wizards and your heroes. And a bunch of jumps. And, you know, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. We're going to go through this base. And when you see a base like this and it doesn't have heroes and it doesn't have clan castle troops, you can three star it. You know, you can three star it pretty easily in a normal raid like this. That's basically what we're going to do. I don't really care about three starring this guy. I don't need trophies, but I do want all of his loot. So we're going to get all the way through the core here. Get that other gold storage. Yeah, buddy. Okay, look, the reason this works so well is because the wizards stay alive. Look at all those wizards. Yeah. Killing it. They're still in the middle. Still alive. Still shooting. King's still alive. You know, it, it's a great strategy, man. It kind of makes you look like a noob. You're like, you're just like spamming tons of, you know, golems and wizards everywhere. And I used to make fun of this strategy. Call it like the mass golem noob strategy. But uh, it, it's fun. It's fun. Anyway, Archer Queen's going to reach over that back wall and touch that last gold storage. And then we're piecing out of here. Woo! Woo, we did it. Yeah. All right. So hurry up so I can get out of here. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know why people use trophy pushing bases in. Where am I? Crystal League. Yeah. This is a farming range. By all accounts. By, you know, by what I would say. So what I'm saying is if you have a farming base and you put your town all outside, you might not lose your loot. But that's just me. That's what I would do. Anyways, dudes, let's go back and I'll show you another replay. Then we'll go do a raid. Oh, buddies, this was such a fun raid. I love raids like this. Just kind of like lower level town all tens that have tons of loot. And if you have your heroes, you can just cruise through these bases. See how this dude has just like long open compartments so we can just run down them and meet at the backside and be like, hey, what's up, buddies? Yeah. So that's basically it. We're going to open up the compartments on this side and then just cruise, just cruise, cruise through the base. Bunch of archers in the back, giants in the front, barbs in the middle. Woo, looking good. So rage ball goes in the middle too. That's going to jack everybody into those inferno towers. We kind of want to take those out, but really, like, what are you going to do inferno towers? You're single infernos, you know, and you're level one. What you going to do? You're not going to do anything. And they did not, in fact, do anything. So now we're in the middle. We got my goblins, got my wizards, got my queen. Dudes, this is why you want to have a max queen when you go to start farming your walls. Because look, she's going to help every single time you have her. She's going to help so much. So much. There's a lot of things you can do with the queen. But whatever you do, if you just throw her in with any farming army, boom. You're getting what you came for. No doubt. No doubt. So, look. You know, normally I would probably stop right here and I would miss a lot of loot because, because I have the queen. She's going to take out both those expos and, you know, that's, that's it. Peace. See ya. Bye. Anyway, 
just some advice from me. I always think focus on the Dark Elixir first, guys. And that's why I'm doing that series, Dark Elixir Time, because I want to show that to you guys. You know, I think everybody should focus on the Dark Elixir first because there's a lot to do, especially at Town Hall 9. There's a lot of Dark Elixir upgrades to do, so start them early, dudes. Anyways, that's basically it. You know, I don't want trophies, so once I take out that last gold, peace. We're out of here. See ya. Anyways, guys, let's go back to base right now and do a live raid. I think we have an army ready. We're, we're ready to go. Let's do it. Oh, boy. Well, we got a little mix of everything here, guys. We can't really pass this up because, well, it's a little mix of everything. You guys know I love that little combo. So, you know, two and a quarter. Wait, two and a 225,000. I was trying to say two and a quarter thousand, something like that. Anyway, whatever it's called, let's do this. So, I'm going to go basically from the top. It looks like where most everything is. Let's just sort of mess around up there for a little bit. Couple, well, look at this, dude. A couple of minions is going to take out most of this. And then... And then... And then... We're going to go from the bottom, I guess. So, forget what I said. We're not doing that. Okay, we're going to go from the top now. Just with minimal... Oh, man, this is going so well. Dude, I love when you can just take, like, ten troops, put them up top, or wherever, and take out half the loot, and then just make a little push from the bottom. We'll have some fun with that. We'll go in with a spell, you know, because I have spells. I have all my spells right now. So we might as well use them. Have a little fun, you know what I mean? So let's uh, keep going up here. We got a little, little archer tower. A little king up here is going to give us a little problem, but we'll be all right. We'll be okay. All right. Get in there, dudes. Get in there. We're almost to the point where we're just going to make that push from the bottom. So, yeah, king. Uh, you can... You can go die. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. How about you die now, though? Right, like, can you do it now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Um, archers. Yeah, go ahead and finish that off for me. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to go in. Oh, we got the queen on the other side. We're going to do the same little dance with the queen. Ugh. So I guess we better just go a little harder. We'll put a couple of giants in. Actually, we'll do like four giants, just a tank for us, get things started, and then I think we'll do sort of the same thing over here, get things started, and then we're gonna go hard. Let's go! Okay. Good good game plan. Dude, we're getting thrashed on over there. Ah! <laughs> the queen is just destroying us! Okay. Well, that's kind of a lost cause there. Let's just go. Woo! Alright. I just spammed everything. Let's see what happens. Woo! All right, we're looking good, dude. See what I mean? Like, when you have a max queen and you're using it in a farming raid, you can raid like crap. It doesn't matter. You can do terrible. And then you just drop that queen, you drop a rage ball, you drop the rest of your troops, and boom, you're halfway through the base. I mean, this was an inactive base. It doesn't really matter. It's not a tough base, but, uh, wow. That was cool. Is my cat meowing? Cat, yeah, come here. Oh, I was going to show you guys my cat. He's like sitting in the other room like, <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show him to you guys soon. I'll do a, maybe I'll show you guys my pets for 100,000 subscribers. Anyway, looks like we're in the town hall, which I do not care about. Oh, I was going to quit before that happened. Anyways, we got what we came for. 71%. Great loot. We got everything, right? I think that was everything that was there. I mean, we almost got everything on the base. So, dudes, that was fun. We did pretty good today. Let's go see if we can do any more walls. Okay, guys. We're back at base, and I want to do one more wall to level eight. We're, look, we're almost done with those. Like, we would be done if I hadn't been an idiot. Look at all. <laughs> anyway, don't, don't worry about me. I'm an idiot sometimes. Now we can continue on with the level nine walls with the elixir. So, you know, we made some sick progress today, guys. I'm going to change back right now to my, like, normal base so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, dude, so this is the base I'm using right now. I think it looks sick. It's kind of, you know, modeled after some of the ones I used to use, and I just extended some of the compartments, but I think it looks sick, and we're getting the walls pretty nicely. I mean, we got a lot of level 9 walls, some level 8, some level 7, but uh, I think we're doing good, dudes. Considering the walls just came out, those new level, or no, those new 25 new walls, what I'm trying to say. Anyways, dudes, hope you enjoyed this. We kind of did it backwards today. We spent the loot at the beginning of the video 
and now at the end we're just saying peace so thanks for coming guys i enjoyed it i always have fun farming though i'm so glad we have uh town hall 10 farming again i i love doing this so i hope you guys enjoy it too if you do let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time peace